spirit of Stark. We had Coach of McKinley Antonio on before the ceremony today, and he, he was outstanding at the, at the podium yep. today. He kind of he, he kind of gets your attention, doesn't he, when he speaks? Yeah, he's got that that way about him. I'll tell you yeah. what, the first time he ever got my attention, I was a young sophomore. And, boy, did they just kick the crap out of us out on that football field, man. You try and line up against those guys and, and, and how good they were. And I always tell people this story because I looked up to Antonio. I admired him. I told Tom McDaniels and Jamar Martin during my speech, and I was inducted alongside uh, DeMarlo Rogier into the Star County High School Football Hall of Fame back mm -hmm. in 2014. I said, when we were at Glen Oak, we looked up to you guys. We wanted to be McKinley. We wanted to be the 97-98 team, how special they were, how much of a group and as they played as a team. And you see that carry over now. Josh McDaniels makes a call, sends a, sends a stack of checks in an envelope to get this thing done. That's the brotherhood. That's the connection you get from, from not just football, but your old teammates. You know, you, you have one guy that's in need or you have one project that's going on and everybody kind of rallies around it. The troops come out. You make it happen. You get it done. I think the the consensus from every single person here today was long overdue. Long overdue. Needed. You heard at the podium, it something needed to get done because it needed to get done, uh, and and it got done. And you talked about Josh McDaniels and some of the folks that were just just givers. They're givers of their time, their passion, their love for Marion and the and the community and the Motley family. And um, it's cool to see on a on let's be honest, a, a, a very uncomfortable day to be outside today but a fantastic uh we didn't get a full look at the crowd here today because we're up front at a really good seat by the way but there was a lot of folks here on a very hot day they had their fans they had their towels they had their bottled water but they were enjoying and taking it in and they wanted to be here that's the thing you can talk about you know the the troubles that are going on now the, the problems that we have the problems that everybody has but moments like this kind of I don't know, kind of chip away. They chip away and they, they, they paved the road like Mary Molly was. A, he, he paved the road for things that happened when he was here uh, since he has passed. And he will continue to live on with this great statue here. But it's little moments like this, TJ, that kind of kind of bring us all together and bring everything together. That's what it's that's a really cool situation. I don't think anybody can understand unless you were in a situation like that. And there's don't there's only a rare few people that have ever been in a situation like that to, to know that when you step out on the field, the officials are against you and guys are going to cleat you and guys are going to physically try and harm you after the play is over. And we all know look the other it's, way. A, it's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair. And for, for, for somebody like that, for him and those other men to go through that. And as you guys mentioned, as we, we welcome on Joe Rinaldi, open the gates for a lot of other great black athletes to come and, and, and just share in their glory and, you, you just, unless you were there and you lived through that time, I guess you can't really imagine it. You don't understand it. Well, I know when I was in Indianapolis in 1997 when they did Jackie Robinson Day, I saw the impact on the players in my clubhouse when we did that and, and we put patches on, and now it's turned into where whole teams wear 42. So I saw firsthand what it did to them because, you know, it, Marion paved the way, Larry Doby in the American League, Jackie Robinson, and, and those guys had courage because it's what you just said. We can't fathom what they went through. We'll, we will never understand that. And the thing we have to do is do everything we can to fight that and get rid of all that to this day. Even with Paul Brown, it took courage back then. But Paul Brown was worried about outgooding people and outworking them and thinking about the greater good. So, as I said, thank God for Paul Brown to have the courage to do this. You know, Branch Ricky in baseball. Those two guys are the trendsetters. Jerry right. Rinaldi is our guest. And first of all, great job by, by yourself and the committee and everybody involved. I know this was a, a painstaking process, but as we've been talking about it here, you know, the slogan now, you can get there from here. Right. Well, we wouldn't have got here with the statue if it wouldn't have been for the love and compassion and, and, and the hard work and uh, going into it. Because without people, as he mentioned, you know, you, you'll get there with people, Jim Tressel. It doesn't happen. It well, just the, doesn't happen. The greatest part of this is that uh, that Dave Jingo and RJ and the committee came to the park board and we're sitting there. So they present all this, and I'm sitting there, and they're going, well, we thought about this place. They went through like six locations. I said, stop. I said, there's only one place for this. Where? I said, on the triangle at the Steps of Greatness. I said, we have a motion on the floor. Can I get a second? Yes, second <laughs> by Joe Garzina. All in favor? Aye. All right, what's next? Anything else on the docket today? So that's how it happened. But they came and they gave, you know, Antonio gave a presentation that was like right out of NFL films. And that, it just, it, 
just moved me to the point where what better place to put this in Canton? The amount of people that, that drive through here each day on their way to work or, or whatever, but the visitors, it reflects Canton, Ohio, and it's a Canton McKinley grad. Yep. Yep. Sorry, I got to keep throwing that in there. <laughs> hey, we'll, 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 we'll take the Bulldogs anytime we're right here. <laughs> that's, that's in my contract. I get a buck a mention on live reads. <laughs> you, you know, you uh, you talk about that part of the, the process being easy. How long does this whole thing take? I mean, the, the process, the planning, I know that just the making of the statue and, and the renderings. I mean, is this a is this a year long process? Was it longer than that? No, uh, they started out and then they had a couple of hiccups, like with any project. I mean, you, you know, it's like opening day lineup April 1st. What's your lineup look like September 1st? Yep. So what they look like when we started, where we finished, two completely different things. And and even the signs that he's stomping out hate and racism and all that stuff. That was, to me was a huge addition that when you look at what he faced and see that he was stomping all that out. So the, the statue was going through some phases to where they tweaked it and they sent back some models and they did some things. But so, I mean, it, it's easy to put it on paper, but, you know, logistically getting it done, you know, what, what does Coach McD say? Scheme rich, execution poor. Yep, 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 <laughs> so, yep. But they executed it. And, and I mean, look, the final project and product is just an amazing thing with so many people come together. Josh bringing on a bunch of the New England Patriots and Mr. Kraft and things like that. It's the greater good. I know I keep beating that drum, but... They didn't have to do this. They felt compelled to be a part of what Canton, Ohio means and what it meant to Josh. And and, and, and really, you know, you know, all those athletes that face all that hate. And to think about not only Hall of Fame week or Hall of Fame weeks, I should say, when you're going to have hundreds of thousands of people here, not only up the hall here, up the wall a little bit at the Hall of Fame at Tom Benson Stadium, the beautiful project going on. But, oh, by the way, this Marion Motley statue is going to be here. Can you imagine how many people over the years are going to see this? They're going to take pictures of it. They're going to reminisce. They're going to go back and they're going to look up They're going to look up the history. They're going to look and see things. Hey, I didn't know that was going on with Marion Motley. I didn't know that was happening when he was playing. And that's a great thing. Well, when they park in, in, in the car park over here and they walk up and read – you know, uh, the message board, and then how many people are going to read that and go, I didn't know that, right, right? Right. So to me, it's just, it's it's Canton, Ohio, right? We're known for doing great things, the birthplace of pro football. Why wouldn't we honor that racial divide, you know, groundbreaking gentleman where he grew up and played? Yeah, no you, know, you know, and we talked about it earlier before JR came on, you know, to look back at the history and think this guy still holds the record for career rushing average at 5.7 yards per carry. And that's stuff that people are going to be able to look up and think, oh, well, I thought that might have been Barry or I thought it might have been Emmett, one of these right. more current guys to think that Mary Barry. still holds that record. And, you know, the other special thing to me that really got my wheels turning, you know, I'll give my Glenno Golden Eagle punchline <laughs> here, you know, as Mayor Burnaby mentioned and and and, and uh, Mr. Porter mentioned that this is a gateway to other communities around. And I start thinking of a guy like Dan Deerdorf and doing something sure. to honor him locally here. Jimmy and a Fox. guy like Glenn Dawson and, <laughs> you know, all these guys locally from around here and then getting out in other communities around right. around this great country uh, to be able to honor these guys with this and to this be the first and to set a trend as he was a trendsetter to, to be able to do something special around the United States of America for these great athletes, these, these Hall of Famers. That, to me, is also a pretty special tribute as well. And Antonio touched on it. We can talk about this. We're old guys. We get it. It's the younger people that we've got to educate of what those struggles were, what that fight was, because it was a fight. You yep. know, and we, we will never understand that. So in the Turk, the one big meeting room is the Marion Motley meeting room, and we are going to decorate that. So when you have meetings in there, there's stuff on the wall so our kids can look and say, wow, I didn't know that. So to me, it's educating. Uh, doing this is easy. It's educating our kids to not lose focus of the past because that is what will just make us weak beyond belief. Yeah. yeah. You guys have done a phenomenal job over there at the Turk as well. I mean, to, for me, when I go over there and meet with Dave and meet with Kent and the Bulldog Athletic and, and meet with Antonio, to see those past guys being honored there along that wall, to see those jerseys, to see the history, what a phenomenal job getting that piece done as well for, for – for these young men for for your bulldogs getting ready to take the field in just 15 days well we're on a hot streak when we hired uh jeff talbert two years ago and uh, we were at that anniversary mark we have the turf out at crenshaw that came out of the superdome that the buckeyes beat clemson on yeah. uh you hire a plus people you hire c minus people you get d minus effort so you got i say that all the time in our board meetings you got to hire the best 
because they're going to give you the best effort. But we're riding a hot streak. The Turk locker room, the Crenshaw part, we're adding on a Crenshaw. We're adding on a rec wing out there so we can service that neighborhood a little more. Uh, we're looking at an indoor uh, facility downtown. So, you know, we're, we're rolling a hot streak, but you know what? You win with people. You guys said that, and our community is the best. Our staff is the best. And the last time I heard 5.7 per game was errors. You playing for the freeway uh, fumble ball team <laughs> right over here at these old fields. I just got that text from JT. <laughs> hey, I, I just want to know when they're going to build JR's clubhouse because I follow along no. with you on social media, and I see your pictures from your clubhouse. It was meticulous. And I'm just like, I want to hang out there. I want to no, hang out no, at JR's clubhouse. No, you, know, <laughs> I, you know, I was very blessed that when I, you know, I just went through something, and they said, well, how'd you get in baseball? So I answered an ad in the paper, like, well, we don't believe you. I said, I did. I started in the 91 down at the Can Akron Indians. and. Yeah. I worked in, you know, working for the uh, the Indians, the Reds, the Rangers, and my last 15 with the Brewers. But, but I was very blessed to work here. So when they found out that I was working for Coach McD at McKinley, the Indians were like, well, we don't need to hire you. So when you surround yourself with good people and you're in a part of great things, I've been very blessed. And, and you know, you got to outwork people and outgood them. You know, somebody goes, well, how do you know everybody hates you? I said, you know, I read Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but you just got to keep people together. You got to tell them, thank you. Yeah. You got to say, you know, we appreciate what you do for us. And I've learned that people need to hear that. We can't take for granted that someone tells them outside of, you know, being a board member. Yep. So I've made that like my focus to make sure I tell people thank you. And we like our park staff. I made sure because they give me they razz me every time I speak or something about the parks. And I'm like, you didn't say anything about us. So right out of the gate, what did I do? <laughs> Thanks to our business. park staff. Took care of your but you went with people and you got out good, not work. And I just think we got a lot of good stuff in Canton, you know, Centennial uh, Plaza. And I mean, just so much good stuff. Yeah. You know, downtown is growing. I live in the bliss and all that stuff and downtown living. And it's this is not what we grew up with. So no. let's just keep all that going. But you guys a, are what a, ride, about. what a ride we're on, though. Right. This is the I don't know if you call it a golden era or whatever you call it. But you, you know, things happen over 5, 10, 15, 20, right. 25, 30, 40, 50 years. And we're kind of enjoying the fruits of a lot of that. And, uh, of course, we've got a long way to go, but we've got great people in charge. I know we'll get there from here. Sure. Right. And I called Channel 19, and they're okay with me stealing their moniker for you guys. You know, remember how, like, the weather guy everywhere. That's you guys. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. JR, everywhere, man. There's a wind by, of five man. miles an hour everywhere. <laughs> Put your kids away. But, no, we, hey, we, yeah. look, we are Canton. Yep. Let's just face it. We are Canton. So, yep. I love it. That's a great way to end it. JR, we appreciate it, brother. Good to see you again. And in the immortal we'll words of Howard Kelman, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? <laughs> Have a good day. Good luck, guys. Have fun. Thank you. There you go. JR Rinaldi joining us here. Always brings a little spice to the program. And we appreciate him coming by. And uh, before our computer melts down, we have had a wonderful time here. Sam Berkman and my partner, TJ Downing, the Mary Motley Memorial Dedication. Thanks to Simon Says Promotion. Shout out, JP and company. C.H. Valos and Associates, NFL Alumni Association, and, of course, our good friends at the Spirit of Stark. What a great day here, huh? Yeah, I'll tell you what. Hobby, this I'll is, tell you what. Great day. It, it's it's really just an honor to be a part of it, you know? We get a chance to. Oh, we're uh, telling us to wrap up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're the last plug, you know? Oh, boy. But uh, I, I think the last the, the last great plug you make is to these guys up here, Jingo, R.J. Van Allman, Antonio Hall, the whole committee putting it together. You know, those guys got it done, man. You know, sometimes you just got to line up and you're not sure what you're going to get, but you just you find a way to get it done. You find a way to win. And these guys are finding a way to win. And, you know, I think uh, as we as we talked when we first kind of opened up with Antonio, this type of thing right here could be a big catalyst for the mm -hmm. McKinley Bulldogs. As you get ready to line up here and just two Fridays from two now. Two Fridays from now. Unbelievable. Well, as you said, it, and you played the game. You know it. This is just like the first scrimmage of the first game. You, you get down, you get in your stance, you line up. And you go. And that's where we're going to leave it from today. Thanks to everybody for listening and watching today. Look for our highlights. Be sure to follow and share our uh, social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, of course, the Stark Media YouTube channel. For my partner, TJ Downing, and all the great folks here today at the Marion Motley Memorial Dedication, this is Sam Berkman saying so long. We will see you and talk to you soon on Stark Media. Have a great day, everybody.